I want to share with you something that I find so amazing in this book. It tells us the story of Rabi' ibn Khutayn, who was the student of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu. So it tells you some of the characteristics that he used to have. But what really shocked me was reading this part about how much he used to lower his gaze and how much he used to be humble. He would you know, always be looking down. And it says here that you know, he used to visit Abdullah ibn Mas'ud or he was his student for 20 years. So for 20 years, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, you know, he's teaching him and he sees him and he's interacting with him. They would do a lot of things together. They would go, you know, the way that uh, Rabi ibn Khutayn would follow Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, it would be, you know, the way that a child follows the mother. And the way that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud would take care of Rabi ibn Khutayn, it would be the way that a father would be taking care of the child, always with him. And he, you know, used to love him to the point where one day he comes to visit him. And he knocks on the door. When he knocks on the door, the, uh, the servant of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, she opens the door. And then she sees who it is and how much he used to lower his gaze. He would always be looking down. She goes to Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and she says to him, uh, قد جاء, That your blind friend has arrived. This is what everybody thought about Rabi' ibn Khutayn, that he was blind. Because how much he would lower his gaze and you know, not look at things that he was not supposed to look at. All of it was from the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how he wanted to humble himself in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, whenever he would hear this, he would start laughing, knowing that you know, he, was not, uh, he was not blind, but it was the fear and the humbleness that he had in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then it says that whenever he would see him, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he would always remember the ayah, وَبَشِّرِ الْمُخْبِتِينَ where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, you know, give glad tidings to those that are humble. And then he would say to him, Amma wallahi law ra'aka Muhammadun sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, law hibbuka wa faraha bika. That wallahi if Muhammad was to see you. Muhammad, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if he was to see you and the things that you are doing, then he would have indeed loved you and he would have been happy with you. Subhanallah, this is really, you know, when you look at the people that came before us, the way that they used to live their lives, the way that, you know, the fear that they had of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it just leaves you amazed. Let this be a sign for you and I on how we should be you know, behaving with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our shortcomings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.